think you look How fun. you doing, man? I'm doing great. And what's good in your world? <laughs> Not much. I'm in California right now, so. <laughs> Me too. Are it's you? Hot. Yes. Hot. Are you Are you Southern or Northern? I'm in uh, Southern, L.A. Southern? Oh, I, I guess that's that's hot. At least you're kind of away from the fires. Oh, that, uh, yes. Yes, that, that is uh, unfortunate in that sense. And, I mean, I guess I am fortunate, but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. You're right. That's how I should look at everything. I know. It's a, I, don't, I don't know if you can see behind me. All, all, that's all smoke haze. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks. And I'm not even in Northern California. I'm, I'm in Fresno. Okay. Oof. Bad, yeah. I don't. I haven't paid attention to the news, but that uh, I'm so, so the air quality out there. It's good. You oh, have to wear a mask, I guess. It's 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 horrible. So it's a. Uh, I guess uh, we're all wearing masks no matter what. So <laughs> so that's how it works. Yeah. Hey, so Johnny. Hey, congratulations for on uh, still here. Thank you. So. What brought you on board onto a, this very unique project for yourself? Um, well, the script, really. And then um, everything after that. Like, uh, the script was what intrigued me. And I, then Vlad. And um, I, the, I mean, the story in itself was, is strong. And... Um, the journey that, that Christian takes was primarily in the statement that, you know, I was hoping the film would make, um, is really what attracted me to it. And it seemed as though, uh, Vlad could facilitate that and, uh, being that he wrote it and, you know, uh, it seemed like, the, it seemed like a good, a good choice. And it turned out to be, I believe. I mean, the, Vlad's film here has a very, very powerful message. Did you try to do your own research for yourself in preparation for to play Christian? Um, was that really loud? I forgot to turn off my air conditioner when I started talking. No, no, with no, no, I didn't hear the air conditioning. Oh, man, that's good to know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I believe you just asked me, was there any preparation that I did to, like, play Christian? Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I... I I mean, beyond like just the normal preparing for the work in itself and trying to inundate myself with the idea of, I mean, it was a, it's a very human story and the character is in is out there is a lot of characters I've played. So he, he was kind of close to me. So it was in my wheelhouse and it wasn't too much of a prep in the sense of having to find that part of myself to uh, utilize to, for the story. Um, and I probably could have learned to type faster um, and, <laughs> or like look like I am. Um, but outside of that, there wasn't a, um, uh, like a, a deep dive into anything. There wasn't much time uh, mm -hmm. to do something like that. Uh, I just jumped in, like, I guess, are they, do they say jumped in head first or do they say jumped in feet first? I don't know. One, one seems a little more treacherous than the other. So I, I think it was head first. I think I, what, whatever it is, you, you jumped in. That, that's, that's yes. our point. <laughs> yeah. So, so obviously you could relate to the character, like, towards, like, the curiosity or towards, like, the empathy, like, what he's trying to portray on screen. Um. I mean, I could definitely empathize with the guy. I, um, I, I try not to sympathize with a character that I'm playing. I, I try to, uh, it, we don't sympathize with ourselves, you know? It's, there's a forgiveness and a being and an understanding and hindsight. So it was a, a, allowing myself to be present and um, just the actors were so stellar that and the situation and the script and everything. It was like, when, and, and the pace, it was, we shot very fast. So I kind of didn't have much time to do anything but be in the moment, 
you know? So I figured out kind of who he was, what, where that was within myself. And then I tried to stay there or I just was there until we were done shooting. Absolutely. Um, the one thing that I do enjoy about Vlad's story is that he, he made this about a black family in which, uh, you know, stories like that, if it was a white family, this would have been a totally different movie. I mean, you, you, you do agree with that. I definitely agree with it. I, uh, the fact that it was a black family was part of the intrigue. I mean, most of the intrigue, I mean, it, it made a statement. Uh, the film makes a statement and few, I, I mean, a uh, quite a few actually of important ones that I, um, I, I mean, I see in the world that, you know, maybe this could bring some awareness to, and it's not that people aren't aware, but they don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. It's too, it's too common for <laughs> like something like, you know, like people's, uh, prejudices or like the news just lying to you or, you know, uh, what is happening in like a society sense. Mm -hmm. So. Well, what did you think about the timing? I, I know you did this production back in 2015, but you know, the timing of, you know, how this country and the world is actually going through, not to mention, you know, Black Lives Matter and, and this film kind of, you know, kind of addressed uh, the idea of, you know, police and um, the, you know, some police ignoring you know, the pleas and cries of, uh, you know, for sure. Color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, um, I'd say it was, it was, it was divine timing. And it was it 2015 when we started this thing. Wow. Yeah. It's been an endeavor. That's for sure. But wow, it's a long time, but yeah, it's divine timing. I, I really, I don't know. I can say divine timing three times. And it like, literally that just means it seems like perfect timing. You know, you could not have planned for anything like this. And um, just the climate of the world today uh, has presented an opportunity for a, a forced perspective on the film and um, hopefully the issues that maybe it brings up. For your character who plays a white journalist who goes into a black neighborhood for investigation, what, what, what do you think about um, that because a lot a lot of people would kind of like question the idea of that would ever happen really would they i don't know i mean uh if i mean that I, I don't know i don't know about whether that was the right or wrong thing that's just what it, what it was you got assigned it and it was um then you go and you do it that's your job you know <laughs> Um, so if there were, if there was a question in that particularly, if you need to reiterate it, cause I, it's based on it cause my dog's moving around over here. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. We could, we could actually move on from, from, from that, but, uh, could you Did talk I answer about it? No, but that's fine. <laughs> well, well, I didn't really, I didn't really, then what was the question? I want to give it to you. No, I was just talking about uh, play, playing a role of a white journalist going into a black neighborhood to uh, to be. Oh yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I and the question was whether or not that would be an authentic move or not. Um, well, for our story, I feel like it needed to be that way. Just like you said, if it were a white family, it wouldn't mean it's, it wouldn't have meant as much. Um, it would be a whole other take on the film, and. Just like if it were, you know, a black a black reporter going in to do a, a I don't know a, a social piece on you know this missing girl and seeing what's going on, it would it it would kind of it would mirror that that it wouldn't be as effective. Yeah, you're right. It would actually be a different type of a story. It would be a different type of movie altogether. You're right. You're right. Um, now you're you're a West Coast person. What what was it like uh, working in New York for for this uh, type type of production? Um, I'm from South Carolina, oh, okay. but I, and I've done a lot of work and I've spent a lot of time in New York. But what was it like doing this production? This was a very interesting one, um, because of the scale and the pace that we were having to work, um, which I believe was um, a 
attribute to our to to the actual feeling of the film and it was very i don't know frenetic and um i love doing it i love working in new york and i loved working on this and i love working with everyone involved uh i love the way i love like vlad's style um and all the actors just came just came and brought it you know and just cut their just dropped their guts and gave 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 like stellar work that um it just seems like you were in the moment and it was really happening so it was a lot of being able to be prepared to be vulnerable in a moment so that i could react to the uh, uh, the other characters um there wasn't a lot of time to think, but I, I, that was, I think the energy of New York City definitely plays a part, a character in it. And I believe that happens in a lot of films that are shot there because it's hard not to. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot, of, there was a, quite a lot of uh, emotions displayed by, by your fellow castmates. Uh, what do you suppose was the most difficult thing for you on, on set? Um, can you phrase that in a different way what like what was the most difficult thing how about, how about what were what were some of your challenges on production your challenges um well all productions deliver challenges um but particularly in this one i just again it was like overcoming the pace and i had so much to do and just we had to jump from one kind of emotion to another emotion like like maybe I think I counted like eight different points in the script that we shot in one day. I was like, there was one day of that where I had to go from like A to M to Z to, to B, you know, like, and, and kind of bounce around. Um, so that, that, that was a particularly kind of challenging, but that's just my job. And um, it's exciting at the same time. Hey guys, we should start wrapping up. Sure, not a problem. Let, let, let me wrap it up with what, one more thing because you've done big TV shows before. You've done, you know, movies before. What's the attraction of doing something like an indie project like Still Here to you? Working with new artists and um, directors that like have a vision. Um, I find that, I mean, the opportunity for them to execute that is more available to them in an independent film and i want to help other artists and directors or bring forth a, a vision that is there and they and i find that in independent films that they that you're allowed to explore your characters more which is more fun and it's more risky the uh, the downside is that they don't always get out. They don't always turn out well. Not that studio movies turn out well either, like it, but there's a pedigree. But sometimes if you hit the right director, the experience that you have informs you, your life, your craft, and then hopefully the film, like in this one, it gets, it, 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 we have the opportunity for it to see it. And this one does. And, yeah, these indies are usually like in a just a in a whole different kind of realm in themselves, and when it works, it feels so much feels so good. Excellent answer. Hey, thank you very much, Johnny, and ho hopefully this uh, this film is very rewarding for you guys. Oh man, thank you. It's already has been, and I appreciate you taking the time. So thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye now. All right. Bye bye.